in this presentation we will learn about laboratory thermometer as the name indicates it is used to measure the temperature of various substances in the labs at school and in the scientific research companies and in industries so now let us understand the difference between the clinical thermometer and the laboratory thermometer so as it is used to measure the temperature of various other substance it is actually the purpose of laboratory thermometer is to measure higher temperatures so it is graduated from minus 10 degree celsius to 110 degree celsius and that is why you have a longer stem the laboratory thermometer has a longer glass tube when compared to the clinical thermometer right and in clinical thermometer you have a bend which is also called as a kink but there is no kink in a laboratory thermometer right and that is why you are supposed to measure the temperature of any substances only when the bulb is surrounded by the substance all around or otherwise the mercury will drop down and you will not be able to measure the correct temperature right so what is the graduation of a laboratory thermometer it is graduated from minus 10 degree celsius to 110 degree celsius so either mercury or alcohol is used as a thermometric liquid it also has a bulb which is attached to a very thin hair like capillary tube right it extends from the bulb to the other end of the thermometer and in the laboratory thermometer you have the graduation from minus 10 degree celsius to 110 degree celsius so what is the purpose of laboratory uh, thermometer it is to measure the temperature higher than what a clinical thermometer can measure so what is the main difference there is no kink and you have to say the scale the range of the laboratory thermometer so now you should know how to place the laboratory thermometer while measuring the temperature you should remember that it should not touch the surface of the beaker in which uh, in which the liquid or the substance is placed as uh, there will be an increased heat on the surface so you are actually measuring the temperature of the solution so you are not supposed to keep the thermometer by touching the surface of the glass in which the substance is placed right so now we will learn the precautionary measures that you are supposed to follow while using the laboratory thermometer so you are supposed to place it upright the thermometer should be kept upright and not tilted it may lead to parallax error while measuring and it will not measure properly if you are going to measure in a tilted manner so you are supposed to place the thermometer inside the substance the solution the liquid upright that is vertically straight and the bulb should be surrounded the bulb of the thermometer should be surrounded by the substance all around while measuring the temperature while noting the temperature because as you know there is no kink or a constriction so the mercury level will drop down or it may rise depending on the temperature of the surrounding so it will, you will not be able to measure the temperature of the substance properly and you remember that the bulb of the thermometer should not touch the surface of the container now a very important detail answer is the difference between clinical thermometer and the laboratory thermometer as you already know the scale of clinical thermometer is 35 to 42 degree celsius whereas laboratory thermometer the scale is minus 10 degree celsius to 110 degree celsius right and the next important difference there is a kink near the bulb which is to prevent the fall of mercury because you are going to remove the clinical thermometer from the patient's mouth while noting the temperature but that is not the case of laboratory thermometer and so there is no kink so the mercury will fall immediately when it is removed from the solution right so temperature can be read after removing the thermometer because there is a kink right whereas the temperature is read while keeping the thermometer in the source that is the substance such as liquid or anything for which you are measuring the temperature and then to bring down the level of the mercury you are supposed to jerk the clinical thermometer that is you have to shake the clinical thermometer properly so that the level of mercury will come down again it is because of the constriction or the kink that is present in a clinical thermometer but you are not you need not jerk or shake the laboratory thermometer because automatically the level of mercury will come down in the laboratory thermometer and that is why you are supposed to place the thermometer inside the liquid in which it is kept for measuring correctly 
clinical thermometer is used to measure the body temperature and so it is graduated from 35 to 42 degrees celsius but laboratory thermometer is used to is used to measure the temperature in the laboratory that is in the labs so hope you followed so learn the differences between the clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer which is an important detail answer hope you followed thank you